now that you put this project out and people um, will get a chance to listen to you, I want to ask you some hip hop related questions because having a voice means you have to use your voice to make a point. Yeah. Fetty Wap was called the king of New Jersey hip hop, which I think is bull. You know? Yeah, I wouldn't go that. And being that he's from Patterson, and he gave Patterson a lot of pride yeah. with coming out. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to be the king of anything to you, hip hop related? Whether you agree with it or not? Man, that's actually a, that's actually a good question. I haven't really thought about that. I feel like in order to be labeled the king of anything hip hop related, it has to come from a place of one, you know, honestly skill right off the bat, but also two of like originality and and um authentic authenticity. I can't pronounce that word. So good. Like in order to be in order to be called the king of anything hip hop related, you actually have to put the work in and actually come from a place where it's like, yo, this dude is actually putting his heart and soul into this thing. And that once that progress is noticed and that skill is noticed and years build on, they were like, yo, I think this dude's like probably the king of this stuff because no one else does it like him. That's that's like honestly inside of it see the thing that kills me about hip-hop and everybody wanting kings yeah. that shows me that everybody does not believe in their potential that they have to put That's somebody true. above themselves to set a bar to be like mm. for instance when hip-hop first started as we know it as hip-hop people to pull her yeah but some of the best rappers or MCs that were out back then didn't aspire to be the king but people getting that respect so yeah. Grandmaster Cass Melly Mel, Cy Rock, LL Cool J, Big Daddy Kane, Biggie, Tretch, Red Man, who's the king of Jersey, there everybody in Jersey who knows hip hop. Yeah. You got uh, even from the South, Scarface, Andre 3000, Ice Cube, damn Snoop, yeah. Kendrick today. Yeah. Fonte, who inspired Drake style, and Drake is the king of Canada. Arguably, Cartnell official might tell you something different. But to have these titles means that bars are set in a way where you have something to shoot for. Yeah. As an MC, rapper, writer, poet, storyteller, who did you listen to that really made you step your thing up and say, okay, I like this, but now when you heard somebody, you was like, no, there's other levels. I want to shoot to that level. And how did they do it? What what inspired you to take it that place? That's a good question. With different and there's like different lanes for different reasons of every different artist. Give them to us. Begin it, lyrical standpoint, you know. Honest like, you know, Eminem brought me to hip hop, you know. And it's like the way he put words together is amazing. He's when it comes to the technical ability, he's up there, no debate. But when I kept doing the research, I came across people like Big Pun and Big L and Nas and um Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, they were like, and when I heard them, the way they use their flow and their lyrics to paint a picture, whether it's being on your ass showing you, yo, I'm this gangster motherfucker that I can't be fucked with, or showing you um a different perspective on their life, I'm like, yo, I want to go in that direction. Like, that's dope. I want to be able to do what they do. And when production-wise, it was like, people like, like Kendrick Lamar with albums like To Pimp a Butterfly, classic to me. And people like Kanye, the way they use their beats to like, in different ways, I'm like, yo, I want to go in that direction. I can't make the beat, I'm garbage with beats. <laughs> and even people like Dilla and um, Nice Wonder, like, yo, I want to I wanna flow on these beats. These beats are incredible to me. So like, there's like a bunch of different artists that set points for me to be like, yo, I wanna, I wanna be like dumb. So here's my question. So, What type of MCs inspired you? Lyricists or flowologists? Cause when the person has both, yeah, that's the you're, god MC. You're done. You're yes. done. Like it's over. But some people are bar heavy without flow. And some people are flow heavy without bar. Yes. Like if you ever listen to Camp Blow Lucini, they didn't rap the whole song. They just talked. Yeah. But that flow is so ill, it just yeah. grabs you in. Fonte yeah. got a verse on Little Brothers to Listen, whatever you say, where he says, he says, um, I got your head rock, I, I got your head nodding in my voice didn't rhyme, so yo, whatever. And like you uh, just did like, yo, he's right. He got yeah. it. So as a as a writer or an inspired MC, who really sticks out to you? The the bar, the bardom bar, just barbarians, or the flow assist who could just, just ride a beat and make the song 
like amazing. It goes both ways, honestly. It's, it's crazy how you said that because I always felt like that. Like rappers with crazy flow. Like for example, all due respect, Snoop Dogg. His flow is amazing. He's one of the best rappers, flowers ever. By, by Bar wise, he's okay. He's decent. He's cool. But his flow is so amazing to where you want to listen to him. Like counting, just counting made it was amazing to him. One, two, three, two, four. four. Like it was crazy, but. I feel like it's both. Like, um, because, but it starts off with the flow, because the flow is the part that grabs people's attention to listening. And once you learn how to use that flow to actually say something clever, it's all done from there, man. Yeah, man, I mean, you know what? I want to give props to one rapper that people don't talk about, which is Twister. Twister had the Guinness yeah. Book of World Records for one of the, being the fastest rapper in the world. Yeah. I don't know if it was broken. I don't believe really even we care, because that's not what yeah. I brought it up for. But Twister had a song called The Heat. Mm. And his flow was so damn incredible on that song that I hear it. his voice, and this is another mark of a great MC, your voice becomes a part of the beat. Yeah. Jada Kid says, I don't rock to the beat, the beat rocks to me. That type of understanding shows you that your voice is an instrument. Mm -hmm. How powerful is the instrument that Greg P holds in his arsenal? And what does he do with it? Man, it's still developing at the moment. Can't even, can't even keep it real with you. I gotta keep it real. But um, I guess I use my voice as an instrument to grab people's attention, like um, with that, with my tone and with my um, with my emotion into each song to show you, like, try to grab the listener into attention. And I feel like that's the main part when it comes to being a dope MC. I agree because MC means move the crowd, master of okay. ceremonies. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Mic controller. If Mic control, that. you know, you can say whatever you want, but all it comes down to is being a great orator, a person who can speak. Yeah. You could be an MC on a high level, and you could be an MC on a low level. Yeah. High level MCs are like Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm yeah. Max. Um, what's the woman's name who got a sat who tried to, they tried to assassinate, being um, educated, Malalia, Malala, she's from India. Or I some Muslim know. country where she's a little girl, 16 years old, they tried to assassinate her because she wanted to come out for women's rights. I need to look into what? that. I need well, to look into there you go. See, see so there's that. people who are great MCs on high levels. Yeah. Then you got wicked MCs who can move the crowd and have mic control like Adolf Hitler, Donald Trump. Yeah. Your boss. <laughs> <laughs> like you got people who can yeah. say something that will move the crowd in a way where it's crazy and yeah, it's, it, it's malcontent. So there's a great responsibility with being an MC. Yeah. To close this part of the interview out, I'm gonna ask you this. What MC gave you the message that changed your life? Not the bar, not the rhyme, but what MC, and it doesn't have to be real hip hop. What MC gave you the, the message that changed your life? You're digging deep right there, damn. I'm about to take a minute. I guess one of the recent ones that I've been doing, because I try my best to learn more of history, because as a kid, history was boring as hell to me. But I've been watching a lot of Malcolm X um, documentaries, and like the way he just, the way he grabbed people' with attention to stand up for, stand up for your rights of, basically just civil rights in general. It was like amazing to me. He had this character like, yo, I ain't gonna take shit from none of y'all. I, this is my life and you guys are not going to put me under and he did whatever it takes to and grab other people's attention to leave for that message and to me to me that's amazing using your words your personality and your skills to have something that much impactful is amazing to me so parting yeah. and parting Greg P the MC inspires people and listeners to do what hmm. inspire people I inspire people to try to take a more positive route in their life, whether it's in a societal standpoint or a mental standpoint or emotional standpoint. I try to inspire other people to do more positive things and have a positive mindset because messed up mindset to messed up world, but positive mindset it's a good world. So I just try my best to like help people have a better route in their life and take care of themselves, whether it's whatever standpoint you're in. That's all I'm saying, I like to say.